Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video we are going to be talking about the match between Levante and FC Barcelona and Barcelona have won against Levante 3-2 with a goal coming from Pedri, a goal coming from Aubameyang and a goal coming from Luke de Jong. This was a very entertaining game, a game where many of us did thought that Barcelona were not going to come out with three points. We needed the three points because of the position that we are in within the top four. We want to do well, we want to go into second place. No, being in the top four is not enough. We want to be in second place and we want to be there comfortably by the end of this season but man let me tell you did Levante really try to fight for their three points they wanted to win they know the position that they are in within the league because they are fighting for regulation they do not want to go into second division which is why we saw Levante really try to give Barcelona a lot of problems and so what we are going to be doing in this video is talk about the first half the second half and then give my overall review of this whole game if you guys are new here welcome to this family I'm happy that you guys are here but before we go into any of this i do want to talk about the one football app the one football app it is the best football app that you could find within the app store if you do want to find out what's currently going on in the football world regarding your favorite player your favorite team if you want to know how they're doing within the league or how a player is doing with their team you can so by downloading the one football app because it is going to be a very informative app that will notify you immediately and live regarding anything that's going on in the football world if you guys want to download it you guys can so by using your camera on your phone scan the qr code it took you straight to the app store then you can download it set whoever you do want to follow whether it's again a team or a player and you'll be set and done from there again it's a very great app you guys will not be disappointed it is for free but now let's get back into the video so let's first start with the first half and we did see a starting 11 that did include nico gonzalez in it we saw a midfield of busquets nico and frankie and we're like okay great this is going to be a big game for nico gonzalez to really prove that yes he can be in the conversation of starting with pedri some sometimes Gavi sometimes and many other more but here's the thing right as soon as we saw the first half start we saw a Barcelona that did look very flat a Barcelona where we did not see a lot of enthusiasm a lot of focus a lot of emphasis being added on our interiors we saw very little of Nico we saw very little of Frankie and because of that Barcelona were not really producing much we saw a very overall just a lack of focus from all players we saw mistakes coming from Dani Alves he made a pass into the center of the pitch where Levante did receive the ball they could have scored but they didn't. Ter Stegen made a horrible misplaced pass another mistake to the exact same area and Levante could have scored but they didn't but in the end we saw that Barcelona were not in their A game and then moments later throughout the match on the 20th minute we saw Ter Stegen make a wonderful pass try to make it up for what he did earlier in the game to Ferran Torres. Ferran Torres receives the ball and when he tried to take that shot he did not even look like he tried to take a shot like he did not even look like he wanted to score in that moment but Barcelona were trying to get there they were trying to really make opportunities for themselves but then we fast forward about five minutes later on the 25th minute we saw Levante react we saw one of the players I, I do believe it was Morales on the left wing he passed through like four players he goes into the box and then Ter Stegen saves Barcelona by blocking that shot it could have easily been Morales scoring a golazo by taking down four players but Ter Stegen was there in the very last minute and we saw Eric Garcia also come in and kick the ball out it was a collective effort between Eric Garcia and Ter Stegen but the thing is is that the fact that Levante were seeing this amount of chances the fact that these players were going so easily into this defensive line it was very worrying right we're like okay what is going on Barcelona need to show up respectively this is not one of the best teams within the league why are we performing in this way why is Levante really producing more attacking opportunities than Barcelona and so Levante utilized their left side very well and one of the reasons on why it is because on Barcelona's right side which did include Dani Alves Dani Alves was not doing well because he did encounter an ankle injury he did injure him himself and Levante saw that as an opportunity and that is why they were really trying to attack on their own left side and really punish Barcelona's right side and because of that because Dani Alves was not 100% because his ankle was hurting we saw Ronald Araujo try to cover for Dani Alves and his lack of pace and so he was taking two positions so there were many things that were going on and going wrong within those first 25 to 30 minutes of the first half we never really saw a Barcelona that controlled the game we never really saw a Barcelona that were dominant against Levante this is what we wanted to see but we did not see that and Levante on the other hand right one of the main reasons on why I'm really talking about this team is because of what they did on the field because of how much respect they gained from around the world because of what they try to do I do know that they have lost within this game
game, but they grew within this game. They were really trying to become that bigger team because they did grow. They grew in this game. They left that deep block that they were building within those first 10 minutes of the first half, and they went up higher up the pitch because they knew they're like, okay, wait, we are seeing opportunities against this Barcelona squad. We do not necessarily have to be on a deep block and really try to defend Aubameyang, Ferran, and Dembélé because they were not really doing much. The front three was not really visible within the first half, which is what gave Levante the confidence to move forward and try to look for those goal scoring opportunities. And so we needed a wake up call. We needed changes in the second half because what was so surprising is that Levante were really flying because they were disciplined. They had direct wingers on the right side and on the, and on the left side that were really hurting Barcelona. And the main players that really kept Barcelona alive in that first half, it was revolving around Dembélé, Araujo, Ero Garcia, and Ter Stegen. These were the four players that really kept Barcelona leveled 0-0. Dembélé was amazing, right? He was making runs, doing take-ons. He was really the only driver within that front three. In the last 10 minutes of the first half, Araujo was also great, basically taking on two roles. He pressed well. He dispossessed Levante many times. Ero Garcia especially stood out in that first half because of his passing, his positioning, the way that he saved Ter Stegen. It's just his overall growth and his leadership is what really does amaze so many people here is the fact that Eric Garcia is continuing to have very consistent class performances. And we spoke about this too, right? We spoke about this in the previous video on how we need to see Eric Garcia and Araujo really step it up for the absence of Gerard Piquet. We needed Eric Garcia to have a great game and Araujo to really understand Eric Garcia. And we did see exactly that. These two center backs were really delivering for Barcelona. But one thing was missing. We really needed the front three to produce something. We needed our interiors, right? Frankie and Nico just to do something to create goal scoring opportunities. So we go into the second half, right? And we did not see any changes. On the 48th minute, we saw Ferran Torres receive a great chance. Dembele did make a cross into the box. Ferran Torres did a header with the ball, but the goalkeeper did a great job saving that shot. From Ferran Torres, we fast forward towards the 50th minute and we saw Dani Alves do a ridiculous mistake inside the box by causing a penalty because he did raise his arms. He tried to block one of the players, but he did use his arms, not his body. And it gave Barcelona something that was not needed, which was a penalty. It was a moment where many of us did realize, okay, for today's game, because of the amount of misplaced passes, because of the amount of times he did not really help Araujo on having his best game, it was just not Dani Alves' best game overall. Like, he was not 100%, surprisingly, right? It really did show us that we were missing someone like Serginho Dest. And so this led towards Levante receiving that penalty. Morales did score that penalty and we were in very big trouble. We needed a different change. And then fast forward about five minutes later, Levante were again handed another penalty. And I don't think that this was a penalty. I really do not think so because when Ero Garcia did touch the ball with his hand, his hand was going away from the ball. Ero Garcia was not even facing the ball. He did not even know where the ball was going. And the fact that the ref, right, whoever this ref was, gave Levante that penalty, it was just not supposed to be given. But whatever, right, we had to deal with it and we had to move forward because Ter Stegen did save this penalty and he saved Barcelona overall and gave Barcelona the confidence. In that second penalty that Levante was given, Ter Stegen really stepped up. I'm so happy that this player is really showing that he can be a big time player. I do believe that if we had any other goalkeeper within this game, the score would have been so much more different. Ter Stegen really did step it up within this match and I'm so happy for this player. But let me tell you guys, when Ter Stegen made that save, when we saw the atmosphere within the stadium, when we saw Barcelona react differently after that moment, we're like, okay, Barcelona is definitely going to react after this because we needed a goal. And what did Xavi do? Xavi made two changes. He took out Nico Gonzalez and Frankie de Jong and put in Gavi and Pedri. And this is where things go into a complete 360 because the difference between Barcelona having Nico and Frankie and then Barcelona having Gavi and Pedri, the difference was insane. Having Gavi and Pedri in that midfield moved Barcelona fast when they were attacking. The intensity was so much higher. The midfield was holding the ball much better in the final third and it gave Levante so much more trouble because what did happen a few moments later? On the 59th minute, we saw Dembélé receive the ball. He crosses the ball into the box and Aubameyang scores the goal and levels it 1-1. Aubameyang, yes, he has showed up and Dembélé yet again brings an assist which does count as his 11th assist of the season. He does tie Benzema in terms of assist within La Liga and this is a big moment for us to realize that yes, Dembélé is a important player. I don't know how many times I do have to say this, but the negotiations are going to be taken differently. Barcelona must find a solution for this player because his importance is huge. Dembélé's importance to Barcelona is becoming a very big deal because of the amount of times he has been saving Barcelona within this season. And then fast forward a few moments later on 
the 63rd minute, we saw Pedri yet again score another goal for Barcelona. We're like, okay, we are officially back with these two substitutions of Gavi and Pedri. We are changing throughout this game. And Pedri did score this goal coming from an assist from Gavi. And if you guys did not watch the goal that Pedri did score, I'm going to be describing everything for you guys right now. Gavi received the ball. He passed like about two or three players. He dribbles around within the final third. He goes into the box. He passes it towards Pedri. Pedri cuts in and shoots it at the bottom left corner. And yes, you heard that right. The two future great midfielders did step up to place Barcelona in a 2-1 lead. It was a great moment for us to really soak up what Pedri is doing for this team. Barcelona do need Pedri. Whatever Xavi is trying to build, Pedri needs to be within that image. There is no successful version that I do see Barcelona building that does not include Pedri. Pedri has to be there because he just makes this team that much better. And Levante did not really have a reaction until that penalty that they were given yet again later down the match around the last like 10 minutes of the second half Levante did score another penalty it was 2-2 and then a few minutes later on the 92nd minute we saw Jordi Alba make another cross very similar to what Dembele did but on the right side Jordi Alba made the cross inside the box Luke de Jong scores the goal with a header and yet again makes another last minute winner it was a very entertaining match overall Luke de Jong did save Barcelona put Barcelona in a 3-2 lead and we have achieved the three points it's just let me tell you guys Xavi really does know what he's doing the fact that he got a bombing to score a goal and also Luke de Jong to score another goal he really does know how to utilize his strikers he knows how to maximize these strikers and make them become important players it just makes you think right like what would happen once Xavi gets handed a world-class striker but man let me tell you this was a game where many were sweating they were getting on their feet we're like oh my god we were so close to losing we were so close to tying we were so close to winning but we have barely made it my friends and we made it by a small margin we got the job done with again coming from goals from Pedri, Aubameyang and Luke de Jong. The approach could have been better. I do believe that Barcelona moving forward do need to realize that they have to start Pedri in the game or the other solution could be that we need to better our alternatives. If we end up using Nico or Frankie together, we need to improve their games. We need to improve the duel between these two players because Gavi and Pedri cannot play in every game and start in every game and play full 90 minutes. Our alternatives do need to step it up and let's hope that we do that soon. Barcelona are in second place yes we are 12 points behind Real Madrid Barcelona do have one game less than many of the teams within the top four and let's move right let's keep this fighting spirit let's continue to fight for the three points regardless of how hard it does get but that is going to be wrapping up today's Barcelona post-match review thank you guys so much for watching if you guys are new here welcome to the channel please like subscribe comment and I'll see you guys in the next video